Hi, hello, how are you doing? Hope you're doing great. Okay, so I've been talking about this um, joint, autumn joint applications and other autumn applications that are upcoming. So now I'm here to tell you that they are open. All right, the application date um, is from 31st of August to the 14th of September. So you have two weeks, all right? There are different universities university of, of applied sciences and there are also um, different programs, okay? So some are joint, some are separate. What, what is the difference between these two? With joint, it's been normal that you, it's obvious that you're gonna write the um, UAS exam, okay? But with the separate, some universities may choose different ways or different eligibility criteria or different admission procedures so you should take note for example i talked about this um bachelor's program in um, engineering which um you're just supposed to um make a video they're gonna tell you like some of the key things that they want you to talk about um in that video 15 minutes video all right, so you're not going to write an entrance exam and do it right. If you haven't watched that video, check it out, all right? I made it a couple of days or a week ago, so you can check it out and get more information about that university and that program. So there is a program also in um, international business. There is one in um, nursing. So please do where to go through these programs Go through these universities, get yourself acquainted with the criteria even before applying. And one more thing, please, when you are when you are applying, if you click when you open the application form, the your country of origin will automatically be Finland. So you need to change it to your country. So for example, I'm from Cameroon. So if I see Finland, I'm gonna put Cameroon there, and immediately I put Cameroon, it automatically gives me like uh, a section where I'm gonna talk about put my passport or passport number or or um or the, um any other identification documents that I have. Why do you why do they always ask for your social security number? It's because if it's Finland, it means you are here in Finland already. So any um one living here legally and uh, has um a social security number, so. It's just no matter they're gonna ask you to put that number. So if you are not from Finland, then you don't have that number. Um, I just want to address this because I think I got about three to four comments and then emails asking like, "Oh, I'm filling this application form. They're asking me for Finnish uh, social security number and I don't have it." It's because you didn't change it because whenever you click, um, you you click like fill the form on study info dot It takes you there and it's Finland, so you have to change it to your home country. Take note. <laughs> so um, the other thing I want to emphasize when you're applying for a bachelor's program in University of Applied Science, the main eligibility criteria is your upper secondary school certificate. You, must, you may have done a bachelor's degree in your university, but in this application, which it's as, like you can upload it if you want, but the primary thing is the upper secondary school certificate. If your bachelor is like related or kind of like similar to what you're, you're, you're applying for, then you should be ready to explain in the future why you want to do something that is similar to what you already have. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's clear for your passport. I'm going to mention this here again. You have to include your passport number. You have to upload it, a scanned copy and some in some programs they want you to upload it like twice a confirmation when the student got a confirmation email saying that um he or she has applied for this program they also wrote it there that remember to upload your passport before this date so i was like i bet we we've up, we uploaded the password so what is why they are so in that situation just upload again click on the link and go and upload there's no problem you uploading it twice or thrice, all right? Just make sure because there have been um, some students who did not re-upload. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word in English. And then 
at the end of the day, they were being told like you did not upload your identification documents, and so there was no way we could identify you for the interview and stuff like that. So please follow instructions when it comes to you applying. Follow the instructions. In, like follow it. Whatever email they send to you, that upload. Don't say I have to. Just upload. Upload it because they too they may have a malfunction with their systems. So follow the instructions. And I'm going to say this again for the 100th time. <laughs> Entrance exam, it's a little bit complicated. Why, why is it complicated? Because each program, there are some programs where you're, gonna, you're supposed to write mathematics or you're supposed to write like additional um, topics or whatever. And there are some programs that like you are not supposed to write them. So please focus on the program requirement and some of the um, the details that the school is going to send to you concerning this exam. Um, I've had a situation where a student could not even remember the program that he or she applied for. So when they send you when they send you this confirmation email and when they send you a follow-up email concerning um, entrance exam, go through it. So this information from the school is very important. Make sure you go, <laughs> you go through the information before taking the exam, make sure you do that and be time conscious during the exam because when you, when the time is up, it's up, all right? You don't want to like, oh, I did not even like finish and not complete this section and not know the conscious of, of the time. So now it's all about you filling the application form, take your time and fill the application forms and make sure you specify the program that you're applying to and for those of you applying for the uh, bachelor of uh, the engineering program, make sure you follow the instruction as to which documents, I mean, which information that they want you to include in um, in your video, and make sure that you are fluent enough that you touch every area um, that they want you to touch, and don't make the video super long. If they say fifteen minutes, you can make the video for. 14 minutes for 12 minutes they're not gonna say oh it's just 12 minutes um she didn't do it for 15 minutes and then she, it's a fail no the most important thing is if you cover all the topics that they want you to cover the most important information that they want you to express in that video even if it's 10 minutes it's fine so people talk really fast some people go straight to the point some will beat around the bush so that's why they say okay maximum 15 maximum 15 doesn't mean oh I cannot do 12, I cannot do 10, I cannot do 9 even. As long as you cover all the topics, you are good to go. Okay, so please don't panic, you can do this. And now for the exam, I mean for the fees, please take note of the fees and take note of the scholarships. There are some scholarships that only begin during the second year. There are some, the early bed scholarships that, you know, it starts from the first year. So go through, take a look at the fees get prepared or is this something that i can afford before applying don't just say oh this program is so nice then you go ahead and apply meanwhile there are maybe like there's a cheaper program so make sure you go through the fees make sure you go through the scholarships make sure you you are aware you know of the details when it comes to the finance um the, the financial aspect of it now when you're done applying i want to cover all i just want to cover everything in this video because I know that the questions will start coming. When, you, when you've when you applied, go back, it's on the website. They will tell you when they will reach out to you. They will tell you when they will contact you. They will tell you when uh, um, the results will be, will be open or published. They will tell you when the results will be published. They will tell you everything so that you don't like, oh, I have not heard from them. Are they? But if you know that, okay, it's from the website, they assured me and every other person, that I should expect the admission result by this date. Then you're looking forward to that. Some may come early, all right, but you already know that, okay, this is the date. You're not like, oh, I applied last week. They should contact me this week, no. Um, from experience, after you submit the application form, they always get back to you, like regarding the entrance exam, like a week or a week and some days after the application, all right? So they will get back to you and tell you about um, the entrance exam, check your spam, check your email all the time because they may ask for additional documents within this 
application period. You can just write it there, write them down, you know, with the pen, write on a piece of paper. Okay, this is what I, this is my program. Okay, this the I'm gonna do mathematics and these are some of the things. So make sure you have everything outlined so that you will not be thinking like, oh, what did I apply for? Oh, um, what am I supposed to write here? Sorry. Oh, what am I supposed to write here? So please make sure you have all this information from the school so that you will not get confused. Please make sure and also check the lowest score. Finally, I, I, if you have the chance to apply now, just apply. Why? Because when you apply now and you take the entrance exam, okay, this is a secret. When you take the entrance exam, then you are aware of, oh, this is something that they ask during the entrance exam. So that even if you don't get in this time, even if you, you got a place but you, you, know, you can't afford it, you know that when you are applying during the general application, you really have a clue like, oh, okay, this is how the entrance exam look like. Okay, that's just a secret. So if you watch this video to the end, this secret is for you. Good job. <laughs> yeah, so you'll be able to be, because you're not paying any money. Um, it's not a big thing. You just need to apply the application. The application form is not that difficult to fill. So you just fill them. Um, on the day of the entrance exam, you take the entrance exam. If you pass, oh, fine. If you fail, oh, now you have like, oh, this is what, this is how the entrance exam looks like. It's like kind of like you preparing yourself, all right, towards the general application. So that's something you can do. <laughs> that's something you can do. So you know, oh, all right, if I want to apply for international business, okay, these are the things that came. So now I really have, you know, I have a clue about this and how the, the structure of the exam, you know, so now I'm ready for January, so you can take it, you can apply. You're not going to refuse, like, oh, no, no, you are, you'll take it, but even if you fail, it's fine. Mm -hmm. That's my own little secret. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to leave a link to a couple of um, applications that I know are open. And you can just click and then try to apply. All right, there may be a couple of them that I'm not aware of. <laughs> You can go ahead and still apply, okay? But I'm going to leave the ones that I'm aware of. And then you just click, it takes you to study for the fee, and then you apply. Let me know if you have questions, all right? Why fill in the application form? Just um, comment below, or even before filling the application form, if there's something that is not clear to you, you can leave a comment in the comment section, and then I'll try. I don't want to promise. I'll try <laughs> to get back to you as soon as possible. When it comes to questions, like you fill in the application form, and like that's urgent, you can leave a comment here. I will make sure I check this, uh, the comment section regularly. All right, I'll do it for you. So leave your comment here. If you send me an email, I may not <laughs> see it on time. So you can leave your comment um, in the comment section. I'm going to check it and get back to you. Okay. So have an amazing week and see you when next you see me on your screen. <laughs> Bye. God bless you.